new conveyors boost e-commerce up to 650% by Malta Conveyor. Malta Conveyor recently installed a masterful new conveyor system for a globally operated mail order footwear giant, the Waco Group, headquartered in Glendale, Wisconsin. The goal? Crushing Cyber Week. The 1.2 million square foot facility moves individual pairs of six major shoe brands over 13 and a half miles of overall conveyance from pick to ship. Malta Conveyor was the first OEM supplier to install automated conveyor systems within their production floor that incline, overhead transport, decline, 180 degree curve, accumulate, justify, divert, and reject. George Sotiros, Chief Information Officer, Vice President of Information Systems, and Vice President of Distribution, explains. Last year, prior to this Cyber Weekend, we would have to work overtime for a week and a half around Cyber Weekend. We'd have to work Saturday 10 hours, Sunday 10 hours, and we'd still be behind. This year with this process, doing this speed, our volume of course keeps growing for e-com, especially over Cyber Weekend, and we were able to work about an eight hour Saturday and get everything completely done. So not only did it save us a lot of labor and headaches and things like that, but the customer service point of it, of getting those pairs out on a timely basis, has been a home run, and that's what we were hoping for. The initial conveyor accepts manually loaded, filled and sealed assorted shoe size boxes, also known as pairs, placed narrow or wide edge leading by dimension. The single lane product initially conveys on straight running plastic chain, scaling along the building wall, then overhead inclines on friction top belting, opening up headroom for production floor workspace below. Pairs then take a controlled 30-foot decline before entering a 180-degree curve around a wall opening using side-flexing chain to stabilize the pairs during the turning process. Pairs then end transfer through another series of sensor-monitored product to maximum accumulation capacity. Multi-conveyors design engineers built in an intermediate section of ARB, activated roller belt, to left justify and gap the pairs with complete accuracy and positioning precisely timed to feed a new shrink wrapper. The newly wrapped single lane product discharges at a rate of 40 pairs per minute onto an ARB conveyor with one to two divert capability. This system will again left justify and feed two separate lanes of 20 pairs per minute labelers ahead as controlled by the line operators. As Paul Slotty, Senior Distribution Manager, stated, We control lines A or B as needed, diverting to just one running line, for instance, when loading the labeler or a variety of other reasons upstream. Multi Conveyor's electrical engineering team stepped up and took the only on-site upfront technical support reins on calibrating the sensors, timing, controls, and communications between OEM equipment Jason Russ, Director of Information Systems, elaborates. So what I wanted to point out is as we were visualizing how all this could work, we worked very closely with multi-conveyor to build the control so that all these pieces can communicate. So for example, if one line was to go down, we know right away that we need to slow the wrapper down so the controls that multi-conveyor can very built. Communicate upstream, tell the wrapper to slow down, tell the ARB cable to stop sending pairs to this line, so that they can figure out what's going on the one line, get it resolved. When they turn the line back on, the controls tell the, tell the wrapper to speed up, tell the ARB table to start going back and forth again. Mr. Slotty was also quick to point out the strategic placement of various belting integrated throughout the system. You see what you, this type of belting you see, we had this over there when we uh, were, were doing our application, but they were sliding around a little bit, so we put up more of a grippy belt on and it just worked out great. Friction top belting was replaced in the labeler section, giving the pairs additional grip needed for the label application. That stability created way for an additional discount label application to take place 
that was previously applied manually. Post-labelers, multi-conveyor added pneumatic actuated reject devices that work in tandem with the customer's intricate label verification scanning system. Jason explains. For the reject, when we scan this, we're communicating to the PLC that was programmed by multi-conveyor to actuate that arm to do the reject in the By installing a new conveyor system, shrink wrapper and labelers, the company increased output from six pairs per minute to 40 pairs per minute, a 556% increase in output. However, the conveyors are spec'd up to 45 pairs per minute, building in a total of 650% eligible increase in future growth. George sums up the experience. We have never used plastic conveyor before, so it was uh, intriguing and uh, nerve-wracking, but we're really happy how things turned out. And ride so nice. Yeah. And we've had zero downtime with regard to the conveyors and motors and everything. So just from a serviceability standpoint, it's been fantastic. It's been a really good partnership uh, that we look to continue over the next many years. Learn more about Malta Conveyor's multitude of conveying technologies by visiting our website at www.multi-conveyor.com. Then call us at 1-800-236- 7960. Remember, multi-conveyor, your best conveyed better.